Hey folks, Matt with Zulu Bravo here. I wanted to take a minute today and talk about a line of knives that I've been working on. You know, as I've really dived into knife making and that's become the focus of what I do, I've thought for a while that it would be nice to be able to provide a lower cost option that would be a little bit easier to get into um, for those, uh, you know, that don't quite want to take the jump to a, you know, a high-end custom. Um, so what I've got here on the table are, are three knives. These are all the same design. Um, it's my mini co design, which is just a slim Bacall knife. Um, and these two here are, you know, my, my higher end full blown customs. Um, and what we have here on the left is a finished example of this lower cost concept. So what I've done is use, um, M4, uh, CPM M4 tool steel. Um, and I'm using 0 0.075 inch thick. It's 75 thousandths, a little bit over uh, 1 16th of an inch. And M4, if you're not familiar, is a super steel. It is super tough, takes just a ridiculous edge, keeps it practically forever, and uh, really isn't too hard to resharpen if you don't let it go just completely dull. Um, you know, if you're using diamonds or similar, then uh, it won't give you any trouble. Um, so what I've done is apply a short, very thin hollow grind um, to this. These are, um, they're basically zero ground, so that when they come off the belt, uh, they are sharp. Um, I then have uh, sharpened them, applied a, a 20 degree per side convex micro edge or micro bevel. Um, and these are just absolute razors. Honestly, these are the most dangerous thing I have in my shop. Um, uh, practically every one I've done, I end up cutting myself uh, more than once to the bone with. They just, they, they take very little pressure to get started and they just, like I said, they're zippers. They just plow through stuff. Um, so, uh, again, the concept here is, you know, taking all of my, or at least most of my, you know, normal designs and building them in a format that is just, it's a little bit simpler and, and helps to keep the cost down considerably. These will get um, plain G10 or micarta scales. Um, they're textured, but they're just a little bit simpler pattern than what you'd see on one of my um, normal customs. Uh, these are going to be built in batch formats. They're not really something that can be custom ordered. I'm going to do a batch and get them all made and ready to go and then be able to uh, just put a drop up so that, you know, you can buy them. And they're, they're just ready to ship out. Um, these are going to be $200 for a single edge and uh, 220 for double edge models. Uh, again, G10 or Micarta scales with uh, simple texturing, um, CPM M4 blade with this uh, short hollow grind, and um, these are at 63 Rockwell. Um, but again, you know, if we compare this model right here, that's um, textured uh, green linen Micarta. Compare that here to one of my full blown um, customs. You know, this is textured box elder burl with G10 liners and pins. And this is just, uh, you know, this is just a little nicer, finer grade of uh, knife. And then similarly, I've got, um, again, mini co design, um, but this has contoured carbon fiber um, scales with red G10 liners and pins, you know. So, like I said, these are just, these two on the right are, um, they're, they're just a finer grade, you know, a higher end custom knife. Um, these um, thin M4 knives are basically going to come in, uh, well, about half of what one of my um, higher end uh, knives would. Um, the flats are acid washed and then the um, bevels are machine satin. Um, and like I said, these are 200 for single edge, 220 for uh, double edge, and they will come with a sheath uh, with either a discrete carry concepts clip or with a soft loop. Um, and like I said, this just it's just kind of a interesting way to be able to offer a a custom knife. You know, my my knives, my designs. But in a format that, like I said, it's just a little more accessible for, you know, somebody that isn't willing to, to or isn't as comfortable plunking down the uh, the money required for a, a very nice full-blown custom. You can get that same design, but just in a little bit simpler format. Um, 
I'm working on a batch right now, like I said, uh, these, I, I hope to have that available in time for Christmas so that, uh, that they'll be able to go out for that. Um, and there's a variety, there's, uh, some daggers, there's my Dusk model, um, Sergos, uh, Murgos, um, there, there's a variety. So, uh, if you aren't yet, hop over to Instagram or Facebook and give my page a follow, Zulu Bravo Kydex. Um, as always, you're welcome to shoot me an email at ZuluBravoKydex at gmail.com. Um, but like I said, hop over to, to Instagram or Facebook and, uh, I'll be posting as these become available. But, um, like I said, uh, you know, hop over there, keep an eye out, and you'll see these as they start to get finished and built. But, um, like I said, just a, a really interesting way to be able to provide something that's just a little more accessible than uh, a more expensive higher-end custom knife. So there'll be, like I said, a variety of uh, options, a variety of models, but they'll be built similar to this. And, you know, with this thin uh, steel, a lot of people have the idea, you know, you need some quarter inch thick monstrosity for EDC and for uh, defensive use. And, and you really don't, you need a cutting tool. It's a high performance cutting tool. And these, uh, man, they just, they plow through material. They're, uh, they really perform well. So hop on over, give uh, Instagram and Facebook a follow and uh, keep your eye out. These will be coming uh, for too long.